Welcome to the Gold Kilo One for One Guide. One part of many to get to Masochus. I'm gonna be going over little tips and all that stuff to get over to get gold. You got a hundred challenges to do. Ten in each category. First one up is gonna be the kills. It's not too much to this. It's more of a passive camo as you unlock uh, the rest of them. Only tip I would give for this one is to play something like Hardcore Domination or, as of right now, Shipment 24-7. Or if you like to play shoot house, it's out right now. And then you can just pass through all camos and everything really quick. So always grind these on whenever shipment 24 7 or shoot house is out. Next up is the woodland camos. These you have to get headshots for. The only thing I would recommend doing this is playing any kind of hardcore game mode. Because it would normally take two headshots to get one of these. So it would be a lot easier if it was just one. You may die a lot doing this, but you're going to die a lot doing anything. It's Call of Duty. <laughs> Now we have digital. Digital, you just need to crouch to get your kills. Again, I would also recommend doing hardcore domination as it's quicker to kill people with. This gun doesn't have the highest DPS compared to other guns like Growl M4A1 and all those other guns that everyone's using, like MP5. So you would go into hardcore domination to kind of balance that out, get easy kills. Then we have Dragon. To get hip fire kills, there's attachments you can use to make this a lot easier. I have a class set up to show. This is what I personally used when I went into doing it. I use this because it helps with the hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed, so you're just quicker on the shooting people. Just makes your hip fire actually better, along with the Merc foregrip, makes your hip fire accuracy better as well. Then I have the 100 round mag. Just in case you miss a couple shots because you're hip firing, you're gonna miss a couple. You can just keep shooting for 100. Then I have the no stock, it makes your movement quicker. Then I have the stippled grip tape, so you can just go sprint to fire speed faster, so you don't have to have this awkward delay between shooting and it actually shooting. Then we have splinter. For these, you need to get long shot kills. I would recommend playing in either ground war or shoot house, because you can shoot across the middle lane from spawns and get long shot kills that way. That's what I would do. It's way quicker. But if you enjoy ground war, you can also do the same thing. I have a gun set up for this as well. I have the monolithic suppressor. You get damage range and eh, sound suppression. Maybe people won't rush you from behind. Uh, then the Syngard Arms 19.8 inch Prowler. More damage range, velocity, and you can control your recoil while doing that. It helps a lot with automatic weapons going for long shot kills. For sights, optics, you can use whatever you want. I just personally like the variable zoom. Switch between 3 and 6.1 times zoom. And then I have the Commando Foregrip. So it doesn't affect ADS speed too much because ADS is already pretty bad with all the other attachments, but it helps with the range, so it's going to be worth it if you're going for long shot kills. Helps with recoil and aiming stability, which is both good for long range without decreasing the ADS speed too much. Then I have the rubberized grip tape, which helps with recoil. You don't need anything like sprint to fire because you're going for long range. Same with ADS because that's not too important when someone's extremely far away. This is what I mean when I'm talking about the true house middle lanes. Mounts up here, you get your mounted kills and your long range. People always come, us, come across here because there are also a lot of people are trying to do the long range kills. And just people are trying to get some kills as well. Then we have Topo to get mounted kills. Uh, you can do this in Ground War, Hucker Domination, either Shipment or Shoot House, really. There's a lot of mounted places to get. I did this on Shipment because, I mean, you're going to die a lot, but you're also going to get killed a lot. It's just like a faster version of everything. That makes sense. This sounds kind of weird. Then we have Tiger, and these are to get kills using all your attachments. This is either preference, or you can use my class if you want. I have a the one I use like to use. Five milliwatt laser, no stock. Come out of four grip to help with recoil. Sixty round mag, because a hundred it slows down your ADS a lot. So I like to use a sixty. Step with four grip, so you can have faster shooting. Yeah, it's my setup. Or you could use whatever works for you. Whatever you find best suited for your playstyle. Mine's more of the run and gun. I never really stay in one place, so movement, fast shooting, you know, that's it. Then we have stripes. Get killed shortly after reloading. Only thing you can help you with this would be slide a hand. And you would always want to have one bullet in, like out, so you can always reload whenever the time comes. You ever see a dude, he's like not facing you, or you know there's a guy around the corner. Reload before you went around the corner, or you shoot the guy, then bop, get a kill, counts towards this. Then we have Reptile. This is to get kills with no attachments. In this one, you would want to play Hardcore Domination or other kind of hardcore mode you would like playing. Uh, since the time to kill for this weapon isn't as good as others, but putting it into Hardcore with lower health would make this game, or gun, sorry, more balanced to use for this camo. 
Then we have skulls to get three kills without dying. And the stacks as well, so if you get three kills, counts for one. If you get six kills, it counts for two. This one is also one of those where you can just whatever your preference is for your playstyle. This one you would want to play more defensive, I guess. I don't want to say camping, but camping would work for this. Because when you're running around, there could be people from any angle. You would want to change up your playstyle a little bit to always get three kills. And well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, found it helpful or anything like that, give it a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Input's always nice. Because if I get a bunch of dislikes, I'll change up my style. Uh, if I missed anything, go ahead and say it in the comments. And what day of the week is your favorite? Leave that in the comments as well. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> Peace.